Last time on the Lazy Geckos. I got my trusty anchor app. We're in very, very, very shallow water and I'm trying to get it in as far as we can to have a uh, pavilion key blocking the uh, wind and current. I do, I mean, we don't have anywhere to really drag to. You boys like Mexico! So you talk first and I'll just jump in with witty stuff. We put out a lot of scope, like almost 10 to 1. It's beer 30. Cheers. Oh, it's like the low tide we came in at, basically. And it comes. It got even lower. Right. It almost felt like you were being tugged and not like you were bumping. Yeah. 0.7. It's getting. We're, we're within an inch of the same. 1.8. Hot alarm! So we're going to sit here and wait. Not really. 2.2. Uh, 2.2 feet, yes. It just broke free, feel it? Yep. Yard, so how long did that take us? Two hours? Um, it is I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. We're not making our 6 a.m. launch. <laughs> <laughs> just walking down the dock one day when a conversation sparked up and now we're such great friends. It's wonderful how many great relationships we've made since setting sail. It's one of my favorite things about it. How far away are we, honey? 4.8 miles. Crap on the right. This shit's crazy. I'm flying all over the sea. Yeah. I can't even hold the camera straight. Whoa. 
little squirrely. Oh my gosh, John's gonna fall off the boat. Don't fall off the boat. <laughs> Do you need Reese's tether and harness? <laughs> yeah, stars. We're not sailing, we're just nice. driving. Motor. Upwind. Motor boat. They come in sets of seven. Right! The number four seems to be the bitchy one. White squall! This is the white squall, baby. That's right. <laughs> you cannot sink this boat! <laughs> don't, don't. I'm not really saying that. Oh my that. god. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Calypso. Sorry, Neptune. I'm sorry, sorry Neptune. <laughs> I'm trying to think of all the ocean gods right now. When I see you dance and fall in, when I hear you. Looks really an ocean god? I think so. It's from Homer's Odyssey, right? I she captures no Homer and like holds him hostage oh, for two years. Was on She's holding me hostage. Me hostage. Oh my my boat is holding me hostage. That's exactly what's going on. How many years we had her? Hearts Coming up on, well, let me see, a year and a half. So you I get released in months. I get released in six months. She's for real? Love of but even then, I think Poseidon or whatever <laughs> intervenes. I'm not gonna have to read the Odyssey. Oh, I gotta God. find out how it's gonna end for me. Probably <laughs> at the bottom of the ocean. Wouldn't that be weird if, like, I just predicted my own doom right here? I don't know, but I hope it doesn't happen today. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Reese is too young. <laughs> Wonder what a kraken looks like up close. <laughs> you know, you really need to hold on to her for six more months. I'm curious if we can get better. There's the bridge. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's hope. You see the bridge? Is that our entry? That's the bridge. How are we looking on wind? 25. 25 knots on the support valve. Yep. How are you feeling down there? Um, I'm good now. I'm feeling really bad. A little rough. Yeah, oh yeah. I haven't felt so sick ever. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the catamaran. I think I have to get used to it, adjust. It was time for us to depart. We're headed to the dock so we can say our goodbyes. Another friend was on the way to finish the final two days with John. This has been a wonderful time. We absolutely love the catamaran. So now we're on the search to find our own. Let me, let me know when we got action. Action. <laughs> no more screwing anything in. Look at that. Cool. Like a glove. Latched in, latched in. Beautiful. No more dock fires. That's awesome. Do you like them? Love them. Beautiful. This is going to be our two cigars that we smoked. But since you know we failed and we didn't bring you all the way, but Terry is, I'm going to leave it for you and Terry to smoke. No, this is exactly what we're going to do. We are going to be the first two people to ever import cigars to Cuba illegally. <laughs> We're gonna hide these in the boat. Yeah. We might even have to keister them to get them into Cuba without anybody suspecting a thing. It may ruin the flavor, it may ruin the wrap, but we're gonna get this into Cuba. We are going to, no one has ever smuggled cocaine to <laughs> Colombia, right, right? That takes balls, my friend. So what we're gonna do is, we're not gonna start with cocaine because we're not going to Colombia, but we're going to take two genuine non-Cuban cigars, we're gonna smuggle them into Cuba, and then we're gonna sell them at an amazing <laughs> upgraded price, or we'll trade them for Cuban cigars. That's funny. Seriously, that's, good. That's, that's violating both federal exportation law and common sense. Fuentes. Arturo Fuentes. There. Yeah. And Wait, these are made of chocolate. <laughs> These aren't even real cigars. Are you serious? Yeah, you got those chocolate cigars. Can you believe that? Did I really? No. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hang in there, Brittany. <laughs> Brittany's having like major blonde moments. <laughs> But yeah, so that's our plan. Thank you for the cigars, but no, these are still, this is to be continued. Probably in a, a Cuban jail. We grabbed our things and we're headed for the West Coast. 
We've already contacted a few sellers and have plans to view some cats. The lack of healing is something that Jeremiah will miss, but the pros far outweigh the cons for us. The space alone is incredible on a catamaran. We'll miss our good friend John, but we know we'll see him again sometime. Who knows when our paths will cross again, but we're sure they will. Say that again. What, the text? Okay, so John texts and he says, hey kids, which I don't know why he always calls us kids. I'm like the same age. <laughs> but he said, uh, the engines are completed. They said they swapped the engines, um, new engines. Sea trial and break-in went perfectly and everything. Uh, I know he's planning on going parasailing, but um, he said he wanted to ask if he wanted to come out and sail her around again. Oh, goodness. Yeah. But he goes, I also want to see if you found a boat yet. If not, to wait. He thinks he has a deal for us. What? What kind of deal? I don't know. Like a... Wait, with his boat? Yeah, he kind of was playing around like he wanted to sell the boat. You think it's his boat? I don't know. There's no way we could get that boat. I don't know. Well, do you want to go out there? Next time on The Lazy Geckos... Bam. <laughs> Get all the beer. How much does this cost? Beautiful getting the parasail up. And later, Captain Speedo. <laughs> right. uh, we're learning how to operate a catamaran. And we're gonna go straight offshore. You have Instagram? Why not follow us? You can get all sorts of real time news, photos, and more. Check us out at Lazy Gecko Sailing. Our episodes are fueled by our patrons. See even more fun on our Vimeo channel.